This video is going to be all about sneaker trends for 2024 and I'm so excited because I love sneakers and there are a lot of great sneakers in style for 2024 so you will have a lot of options. And if you watched my shoe trends video I did not mention any sneakers in that video and I'm so sorry I really should have at least touched on them but I knew I was going to do this video so hopefully you're watching this if you really wanted to see what sneakers were on trend in the shoe trends video. And so thank you so much for watching. If you love this video please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing especially if you come back and watch my videos every week I would love for you to become a subscriber and also remember to love your neighbor and be kind one of the biggest sneaker trends that is going on right now in 2024 and it started in 2023 and that's minimalistic sneakers and I'm talking about ones that are more neutral in color so a lot of creams and tans and whites which I'll talk about white in just a minute I think that's in a little bit of a different category because white has been around for a long time but you could not always find more neutral sneakers a lot of times they would have a pop of color or a big logo or something on them and also the styling would not be very minimalistic the really um, chunky sneakers were a big thing and logos and colors and now we're seeing a lot more of your minimal style. So minimal in color, neutral colors, and then minimal in styling. So you can wear them with a lot of different things. And I think this is a big trend because the trend in clothing is going more minimalistic, more of your basics and elevated basics and things like that because of the quiet luxury movement and the old money style. And I think that's going to be a very, very big trend in 2024. And we're going to see some other trends in colors and things like that and textures. So I'll talk about those as we go along. But I think the biggest one is the minimalistic styles. And this is something great that you could add to your wardrobe that will actually have a lot of longevity in your wardrobe and you can pair them with a lot of different outfits so if you want a sneaker styling video on different color sneakers and things like that let me know because i think that would be a fun thing to do for you in 2024. So one of the most popular minimalistic sneakers that has been around for a while are white sneakers. And I want to say that these are still on trend for 2024. So if you love your white sneakers, definitely continue to wear them. And I think this is more of a staple in your closet. This is something that I think you can wear year after year. It doesn't matter if it's on trend or not, but I just thought I would mention this because it is part of the minimalistic styles. So you will see a lot of sneakers that you normally would not see in white. And the one I want to use as an example is the Chloe sneaker that has been out for a while and I talk about this a lot because it's a great sneaker and there have been some really good designer lookalikes of this that are a lot cheaper from Target and uh, Amazon and then Dolce Vita does one that's really great that I have and they actually created this sneaker Chloe created this sneaker in an all-white and I thought it was beautiful but I do think white is a great staple a great trend something that goes with a lot of your outfits for spring and summer that gives it just a fresh look and more of a modern style and if you love sneakers then I'm sure you are already wearing these and I say just continue to wear them and those of you that have not worn a sneaker with any of your maxi dresses and things like that that maybe you could try it and become a little more trendy this 2024 spring and summer season. Another big trend that is going to continue into 2024 are your retro sneakers. So be thankful if you bought a Adidas Sombra last year that it will continue to be very popular this year along with the Gazelle that they make and then a lot of other manufacturers have actually created a lot of really cool retro sneakers and these retro sneakers can be actually duplicates or um, look-alikes of sneakers that were created years and years ago or they just have kind of a retro look to them and their new creations so you will see both options out there and I just love the retro sneakers I think they are a lot of fun and there are a lot of options whether you want more of a casual everyday kind of fashion sneaker or or if you want a trainer, you can find some retro trainers that are really cool. And so I think this is something that is fun to add. It does go with a lot of different things. You don't have to have a retro outfit on to wear the retro sneakers. And a lot of them, I think, have really cool colors on them. So they could add a fun element to maybe a more neutral outfit. So just use them as a pop of color and have a lot of fun with these different styles. Because I think there's going to be a lot of options. So you should be able to find one that would match your 
personal style and your personality and just create some fun looks with them. So I personally am a big fan of more leather and suede because I think they're a little bit more breathable. I know a lot of people don't like wearing real leather, but I think if you can, if you um, don't feel convicted about wearing leather, then definitely look at some of the leather and suede styles out there because they are a major trend for 2024. A lot of the sneakers that were made in canvas or your mesh materials and things like that have been upgraded or updated to a more sophisticated look with your leathers and your suedes and they're just beautiful. And I think that these can create um, more colors and more vibrant colors and they just look better they last a lot longer and they're more breathable on your feet which is what I love about them and I just think they look a little bit more expensive and that's kind of the trend that everybody's moving towards is to look a little bit nicer but maybe spend a lot less money doing it but to have something that has a little bit more longevity in your closet even if you do have to pay a little bit more for it. So 2024 is going to be another big year for metallics. They started last year uh, mainly with your silver being a very big trend last fall and winter or this fall and winter that we're in and they are going to continue and you're actually going to find a lot of metallic sneakers and I have already looked around and seen a lot of gold and a lot of silver sneakers I even found one that was a metallic pink of course it's a golden goose and a little expensive but I absolutely loved this one so I think the metallics are a lot of fun so if you want to add a little bit of bling and you don't want it in a handbag or you're accessories then definitely try a shoe because we're going to see a lot of metallics in clothing there's going to be a lot of metallic jeans that are coming on the scene and we found some last year and I've already seen some for spring and summer and also some skirts and things like that so metallics going to be huge and it's going to be huge in your shoes and also in sneakers so if you love casual things and want just a little bit of bling this would be a fun thing to add to your wardrobe in 2024. So not only are metallics going to be very on trend, but a lot of other textures are going to be on trend as well. I think the 2023 year and 2024 are going to be defined by textures. I already talked about leather and suede and metallics. And now I wanna talk about some things that I've seen. You're going to find chenille on sneakers, which I found a couple of trainers that have a chenille material. And you're going to see tweed. And of course that Chloe sneaker has a lot of texture to it and the metallics have a lot of texture to them and then you're going to see a lot of glitter and maybe some studs and, and even some prints like leopard print. I've seen a lot of sneakers that have leopard print on them and then even denim. I think denim is a really cool texture. So denim is big in every category from your clothing all the way to your accessories and the shoes that I have seen are really cool and my favorite ones are the sneakers. I have already found a few different pairs that are very new for spring and summer so this would be a fun thing to add some texture and some fun to some of your spring and summer outfits. So if you love color, I don't want to leave you out of this video because color in your sneakers, bright colors are going to be on trend for 2024. And I love this trend because I love color. But if you are a person that loves color, but you don't wear a lot of color in your outfits and you do more accessories, then this would be a fun thing for you to add. And there are all different styles, just your everyday sneakers, your retro sneakers, of course, and then some of your trainers. And the pops of color that I have seen are pink so a lot of pink shoes which I love and are a lot of fun and then you'll find a lot of bright green and then blue is supposed to be big so I'm hoping we'll see more bright blue sneakers and I have seen some that have blue accents on them and then your lime greens and yellows and even reds are going to be really big so I think you'll have a lot of cool options if you want to add a pop of color to your outfits a great way to do it besides maybe a handbag or your other accessories is to add it in your shoes. So I just talked about pops of color, so I wanted to mention a very important pop of color in your sneakers that's supposed to be a bigger trend than any other color, and that's your pops of pink. Whether you do bright pink or light pink, but there are going to be a lot of options in pink. And I think the Barbie core trend may have started some of this pink, but you know what? Pink has always been a very popular color in fashion for every season and 
actually it was our hottest color that we would sell out of things when i worked retail uh, no matter what season if it was on trend or not and most of the time it's a popular color so i love the idea of a pink sneaker i think it's a great way to add some pink especially since we're going to see a lot of different colors in clothing as opposed to pink because the barbie core pink clothing is kind of on its way out so this season maybe you try a pink sneaker to go with some of your casual outfits so i know some of my subscribers are not going to like this next trend but i love this trend so i definitely want to talk about it because i think the distressed sneakers are going to be on trend and i know distressed clothing has kind of gone out which may be why your distressed sneakers are coming in but i do think there's going to still be some ripped up denim but i think the great part about the distressed sneakers is they can go along with the contrasting style that i talked about in my other trends video because contrasting styles where you're wearing two different styles like your preppy look with your edgy look and you know you're putting those together in an outfit so you're putting things together that you would not normally wear together and i think the distressed sneakers would help you do that because if you have on a really pretty maxi dress or a really nice put together outfit then you can add the distressed sneakers which creates a contrasting style look and i love this for 2024 i'm really jumping on this bandwagon because i do love all different styles and actually mixing and matching things and making really unique outfits with those styles I think is a lot of fun. So I know a lot of the distress sneakers are really expensive, like the Golden Goose options. And I love the Golden Goose because I think they're worth every penny to me because of how much I wear them and they're really comfortable. But if you can't afford those, then I will definitely try to find some and link some less expensive options that are more of your designer lookalikes for this type of sneaker. And I think we're going to find distress sneakers from other manufacturers as well. So I will try to find some of those and put them in the description for you below or you'll see them in maybe some of the uh, YouTube links if I can find them. So a very interesting trend that I read about is the ballet core sneaker and I'm not sure that I'm going to find a lot of these. I have not seen a lot of them so far. Um, but they're kind of mixing your ballet trend with your sneakers. And this is a very interesting look in my opinion. So if you like interesting things and like just being a little out there, I think this would be a really fun option. And who knows, we might see a lot of these produced. This might be a trend that's just starting and is going to get a lot bigger. So we, I'm gonna kind of watch this one and see what happens and see where it goes. But I thought it was a very interesting trend to mention and who knows, maybe we'll see some of these in mainstream fashion in 2024. So those are all my favorite sneaker trends. I think there's a little something for everyone. And if you guys want a video on styling different sneakers, then let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your comments and for liking this video and my other videos. So if you do like it, please give it a like. It helps it track um, in the, on the home screen for YouTube and also subscribe. I would love to grow my channel a lot more this year. So you can help me do that if you have not subscribed yet. So thank you for that if you do, and thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time.